Yo, shit. All right. Okay. 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 Uh, okay. What is up, you guys? King here. I'm. A... My name is King Light. All right. Oh, no, that's not my name name, but obviously that's why I portray myself to be on YouTube, the King of Lightning, hey! But, from now on, I'm going to get real pugnacious. And maybe because today is Super Bowl Sunday, I don't know. But I'm going to get real pugnacious. King here. King is here today to do a One Piece episode 631 review. Now, of course, the episode itself will be in the description box below on One Piece Official. It is legal. So it is wise that you actually view it there. Yay! So, I mean, of course, they have ads and stuff like that, but still, you are supporting the industry, which, of course, is a good thing because it gets you some kind of, uh, uh, I don't know. It, it gets you something. Now, the thing here is this, okay? This episode, I was like, what? Now, I, I watched it last night, and I don't have time to watch it again today because I'm going to go over to a friend's house in like an hour to go for a Super Bowl party because, you know, today's Super Bowl Sunday. And uh, Broncos. And the thing here is that... No, 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 don't, don't. Broncos. Better. No. Well, let's not get into it. Let's not get into it. The thing here is that this episode was so simple that I really don't even need to like rewatch it. I sat there for like a minute. I was like, oh yeah, this happened, this happened, this happened, this happened. I was like, eh, this happened. I was like, yeah, it's kind of funny, but let's move on. When it came to the man in purple, when I stated last week that I felt that the animation was bumped up, because this arc is a very good arc in the manga, I was wrong. I was dead wrong. I failed the exam. And there will be no second round. Wow. Oh my god, that was bad. When it came to him and his assault, and what he did to Flamingo's boys after Luffy came in, they said, no, 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 it's white. All right, no, 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 it's black. No, 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 it's white. I saw, and he's eating, and he's chilling. And it was funny because he was actually like saying like the sounds. He was like, no, 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 no. I'm like, what the hell is this? So that was funny. But it's just that the guy came in there, and he 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 pretty much like you know when like he took out his sword. So he has a sword. So it's like a hidden blade. And so Zoro had a right to be aware because. Lo and behold, the old man was rocking a blade. You know, he's a swordsman. And, you know, Zor when it comes to Zor and swordsman, you know, Hawkeye. No pun intended. Now, the thing here is that he, like, does something. Like, he hits these people. And they don't get affected. They're like, what the hell's happened? Like, nothing happened. And he's walking, like, past them. And I'm sitting here, I'm like, oh, what is with this delayed reaction? What is this? What the fuck is this? And he's like, dun, 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 dun. and then all of a sudden, then comes like, mm, mm, mm. and these guys are getting crushed. Now, to my recollection, it didn't happen that way in the manga. I need like, I need to reread it. But from my from my recollection, the hole just appeared. Where which the anime, there's some like ridiculous, insane, delayed effects, and then they start to get, like fall down on the ground, and then the hole. Uh, occurs and then they get sent to quote unquote hell. So the old man's strong. Oh, he's, not, he's not old. He's like, uh, honestly, he, he kind of, I think that he's around Blackbeard's age, yeah, like 40 plus. Like between 40 and 50. That's what I'm assuming. I mean, he's not that old, to be honest. But at least that's what he looks to me. I don't know. Uh, has Oda mentioned his name? Or his age in like in SBS or something like that. I, I need to check in the wiki uh, and that kind of stuff. But that let's move on. The thing to me is that I, that part could have been definitely better animated. I'm like, yeah, the fuck yeah, it could have. Wow, what the fuck was this? <sighs> so yeah, it, it could have been better animated for sure. For ab absolutely. There's no, there's no doubt about it. There's no question about that. But what I can say 
is that it's cool to see how the ability works that he has. It's not a regular, uh, well, he's not a regular sword thing. He's rocking some kind of devil fruit, or it could be hockey. I, we don't know. Because hockey itself has never been fully explained. I mean, think about it this way, right? The, the devil fruits themselves were never fully explained until we got to the Grand Line. So hockey itself shouldn't really be fully explained, or there should be some mysteries to hockey when we go into the new world, and then we find out all the mysteries of hockey once we, you know, are somewhere like, you know, midway in the new world, something like that. So, again, like, I'll, I'll say until the day I damn die, or until Oda says otherwise, I believe, strongly, that Zoro's spirits and Sanji's fire are a form of hockey. And that, to me, I think is very obvious. Now, this guy, he did, it was clearly some kind of gravity thing. Or some kind of pull something. We don't know exactly what happened. But maybe he opened... Well, no. He didn't open any... Because at first, you're, you're, you're thinking that he opens like some kind of portal to hell. No. He just crushed him, pretty much. And they were still alive. But he made a hole. Now, understand this. The hole didn't... The hole wasn't there. Underneath the floor of the restaurant. Until he made the hole. So, if you're thinking that, like, he made, like, some kind of, like... Like, he opened the damn wood and that was it. No, no, no. He actually, like, buried, like, he carved out, like, layers of earth, and then he made the hole. So, even though at first it looks like a very small area, it's actually fairly large when you consider it. And it was very easy, too. It was like, uh, sort of, I was it. So, I mean, the old blind man says, you know, I'll pay for this, and then the guy in the front of the desk is like, wait, hold on a second, are you really? And then dot, 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 and then he leaves. Luffy's like, who are you? Pretty strong. He's like, I can't tell you for the sake of both of us. And then he leaves. And then Zoro's sword gets captured or gets caught. His uh, Shui Shui, whatever it's called. <laughs> shui Shui. No, <laughs> I'm saying it completely wrong. Uh, but his sword gets taken by the quote-unquote fairies. And they're just going off with it somewhere. And, like, they're, they're so obvious, too. They have a bag. They have a bag full of stuff. And you see uh, Zoro's sword. And of course, Kini won't, no, 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 I ain't flying because that sword is the treasure of the Wano Kuni. And, you know, if Zoro and Kini won do have a one-on-one -on -one battle to, for the right of the sword, that'd be cool to see. That'd be really cool. That'd be fantastic. Because, you know, they're both samurai. Well, no, Zoro's a swordsman, quote-unquote. Kini won is a samurai. And he's rocking the Firefox, and I want to see Kini won actually go all on the fight. That'd be really cool to see. Uh, I mean, even though he's not more powerful than Law, because we saw what Law did to him in Punk Hazard. But let's move on. When it comes to after that, nothing else was important except for like you know Zoro was chasing, um, you know, the fairies, and we have Luffy and Frankie. They're on a side mission, and this is what I'm talking about. Frankie was the former underground boss of an organization in Water Seven. The man has scum running through his veins. And he's taking out some dude in the back, and they're on some straight bully tactics. Like, yo, where's your lunch money, bro? Punching the wall and shit. Where, where the fuck is your lunch money? I'm like, good. There, Frankie, there we go. Like, he, he has to do it way more often. The, the underground boss, the scumbag, Frankie, that should supersede the robot Frankie every damn day of the week. Every day. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Because it, it does bug me. It really does. But whatever. Let's move on. No! Frankie Boxing. The thing here is this. After they interrogate this guy, they hear news about this prize being, you know, this prize for the winner of the person who wins the competition in the uh, Cordillera Coliseum. And like, we see like, like this big coliseum. And lo and behold, the prize is the Mera Mera no Mi. And it's looking real good. It's looking very nice. Whoa. Like, it, it, it. The Mera Mera no Mi, I think, is one of the most distinct fruits I've ever seen in my entire life. I'll be, I'll be very honest. We've seen the other fruits, and they look very, like, meh. Even the Yomi Yomi no Mi looks very, like, meh. Like, like the color isn't sharp, and it, it looks, you know, very dull. But the powers are still immense. The same thing goes for the two fruits, for the two fruits that we saw when it came to Khalifa and Kaku. But the Mer Mer Nomi is very distinct. Like it just stands out. Like it's holy or something. Like it just has this aura. And it's like, what the hell is this thing? It just looks very nice. 
And that's the prize. And of course, Luffy's like, oh shit. Ace is fruit. <gasps> so, obviously, we're going to see what happens there. Well, what, what he's going to do now, I mean, he, this is Ace's fruit. This is Ace's fruit. And they did a flashback when they were hyping up the prize of Ace. And I'm like, ah, oh, flashbacks? It's just too Naruto reminiscent. But the episode overall, it was a very simple episode. It really was. And the animation could have been a lot better. The pacing, they spent a lot of time with the chase. Like, for some reason, when it came to the chasing scenes of Sanji and Zoro and Kinemon chasing the fairies. And the thing here is that it was really bad animation. I, I looked, it was really fucking bad. I was like, wow, this is terrible animation. Like, they just looked sloppy. They looked very sloppy when it came to the animation of the scenes of the guy and his ability and when it came to the fairies and them, you know, having the bag of stuff and, you know, I mean, the fairy, maybe the fairy is Abusa, I don't know, because, hey, it's it looks like it's some invisible guy and like he's carrying like, the bag, I, I, I don't know, well, we'll see. The thing here is that it was just bad, very, very bad animation, it really was, it was very obvious. And they extended the scene too. And then Kinemon got lost because he had, a, you know, like the hat. And then they extended that scene a little bit because like, there's some guy in the corner watching him. So that this means that Kinemon may have been caught. They may have been caught. Like, oh shit, like the samurai's here. He, like, we got him, boss. Something like that. And, yeah, honestly, it, it was bad I mentioned. It just really was. And the pacing, I thought, could have been a lot better. The episode, honestly, I, I think it's like subpar plus, okay. That's my honest take on that. Which is a shame, too, because I, you know, really was hoping for a very nice animated scene when it came to the guy's abilities. But no, I wasn't the case. It just was, it was very man. And I thought, to me, it's a shame. But I think animation was a key factor in me giving, in me giving this rating of subpar plus. Because nothing else in the episode was significant. I mean, we do see that the main party is now splitting up. Frankie splitting up. Uh, you know, Frankie and Luffy, they're together. Like, they're a unit now. Forever how long, we don't know, because Luffy, he probably wants the Mare Mare no Me. And, probably, he definitely wants the Mare Mare no Me. And, because it's Ace's legacy. We have Kinemon, we have Sanji and Zoro, they're apart, but Kinemon got lost. So, pretty, pretty much now, it's Sanji and Zoro, Kinemon solo, and then Luffy and Frankie. So, they're splitting up, and they made progress in the story. But, I think it's not enough to actually, you know, give this episode and okay i think it's going to be subpar plus for this one and that's my take but what do you guys think all right let me know in the comment section down below and i will see you guys later be sure of course rate the video comment and subscribe as always have a nice super bowl sunday peace see you guys later